Hello, it's Jamie here from Cosmic Kids. I'm here to talk about our app. It gives you unlimited streaming of all our videos and we make sure there are no ads, no funny links and no suggested videos. We organise all our videos into helpful playlists, making it super easy to find your way around. To sign up, head to app.cosmickids.com. Yoga Club Hello and welcome to Yoga Club. We are on a special treasure hunt mission this week as we search for the yoga treasure with Popcorn the Dolphin. I love a good treasure hunt, don't you? Following the clues, solving the puzzles, unravelling the mysteries. It's like Scooby-Doo. Now that would be a fun yoga adventure. Before we get detecting, let's enjoy a few of your brilliant messages. Firstly, hello to Aubrey, who is three and a half, and Dad Richard, who write in having seen Yoga Club and decided, hey, they'd quite like to talk to me. Well, clever Aubrey for having the idea to write in. And I'm so glad to hear you enjoy The Wizard of Oz and Frozen Yoga Adventures. I'm looking forward to reading My Naughty Little Sister by Dorothy Edwards. They sound like fantastic books and they could be really great as yoga stories. Thanks for taking the time to write, Aubrey. Hello to Gabe, who is five, and Dad, Jake. Thanks for the ideas, Gabe. Another Pedro the Penguin-themed adventure. I love Pedro so much. He's such a determined and strong penguin. And cats in the galaxy as well, which I need to look into. I hope you managed to stay cool in Seattle there on the hottest day, and you were able to enjoy some fun yoga too. I love that picture of you, Gabe, sitting meditating on your huge orange ball. It's very good balancing. Hello to Cheeto and Vito who do yoga every day. They started at the beginning with week one and they're now at number 25. Sounds like you've been busy with the Harry Potter movies and I would love to do more Harry Potter yoga for sure. I'll try and include your favourite poses too. Monkey pose, and airplane pose. Hello to Evelyn, aged five in New Zealand, who does her yoga every weekend. I'm so glad to hear it, Evelyn, and I'm sending you lots of love to you there in New Zealand. Hello to Della, who is six and lives in Utah in the USA. Della is a big fan of the Halloween yoga adventure and wants to see more of this. Well, I am working on a new one, Della, so hopefully, yes, more Halloween yoga fun to come. Hello to Kelsey too, and thanks for writing in. Hello to Izzy, who is four and a half and has just moved to a new house in Bathgate in Scotland. Izzy has been enjoying doing yoga in her new living room and sometimes in the garden when the weather is good. I love hearing that you enjoy putting together your own yoga routines, Izzy, and that you would like to see a princess and unicorn yoga club. Well, I will add that one to my list. I really will. And make sure it happens. Finally, a big hello to Leo, who is four and from Ireland. Leo has requested a fast car yoga class. The fast car goes up into space, travels around all the planets, then comes back to Earth. What a cool journey, Leo. Thanks for such a great idea. Please keep your ideas coming and your lovely messages too to me at yoga club at cosmickids.com. I love reading them all and will do my best to get your shout out in time. Also, if you haven't already, come and join me on the Cosmic Kids app. Loads more videos on there, more so than anywhere else, and I know you'd love it. It's extra safe as well, as there aren't any ads or any funny links. Go to app.cosmickkids.com to try it out for two weeks completely free. Now, let's get treasure hunting with our yoga club. Hello everyone, welcome to Cosmic Kids. I'm Jamie and this is your place for yoga, stories and fun. Now it's easy, all you've got to do is copy the moves that I do and enjoy the adventure. Now we always start in the same way and that's by sitting on our bottoms and crossing our legs and bringing our hands together at our hearts and saying our secret yoga code word which is Namaste. Ready? After three. One, two, three. Namaste. There. 
Now we're ready to begin. So, shall we find out what our story is about today? Let's look through the cosminoculars. Bringing your thumbs and fingers together, we have a look through. <gasps> wow! Goodness me, look at those colours and those shapes. It's so pretty. Can you see the picture? <gasps> yes, it's a dolphin. It's Popcorn the dolphin. Yay! What's Popcorn doing? <gasps> She's doing yoga. She's doing camel pose. This is so exciting. We're off to meet Popcorn the dolphin, who lives in the sea. So we're going to the seaside. We put our legs out long and we pack a picnic. Bending our knees, taking our fingers to our toes, we open up our picnic basket. Ready? Ooh. We take our arms out wide and we twist one way to get our sandwiches. Here we go. Let's wrap them up. Ooh and pop them in. Ooh. We take our arms out wide again and we twist the other way and we get some fruit, some melons, banana and mango. Here we go. Melon, banana, mango. Melon, banana, mango. Lovely. We reach our arms up high, wiggle our fingers, wiggle our toes, bend our knees and close our picnic basket. Ooh. Then we come up to our knees and we stretch our arms out wide and we give everyone at home a great big hug goodbye. Oh, bye everyone! We get on our bicycles and cycle away, lying on our backs. We crisscross our fingers behind our heads and lift up our legs. Then we pedal our legs, going up a hill very, very slowly going down a hill really, really fast then going round a corner ooh, and going round another corner Whee! and we arrive at the bus station Whee! we sit up and we put our legs out wide and we put our arms at the side like the wheels the driver of the bus is singing a funny song, which we know, called The Wheels on the Bus. Let's sing together. Ready? The wheels on the bus go round and round, round and round, round and round. The wheels on the bus go round and round all day long. Now the wipers, reaching up tall, ready? The wipers on the bus go swish, 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 swish. The wipers on the bus go swish, 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 all day long. Now the horn, pressing one finger on your nose and extending the other one out to the side. The horn on the bus goes beep, 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 beep. Beep, 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 the horn on the bus goes beep, 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 all day long. Yay, we're here! And the sun is shining, so we stand up. We reach our arms up to the sun and we say, hello sun, ready? Hello sun! Oh, the sand is so warm beneath our feet. We say hello to the sand. Bending all the way forwards we say, hello sand! Now we step one leg all the way back behind us and we start our sand buggy with a beep, beep, Yay! We take our other leg back and come onto our bellies and we wiggle like a little sea snake. Then we tuck our toes, lift our bottoms up to the sky and we woof like happy little dogs playing on the beach. Woof, 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 woof. We reach our tail up to the sky and wag it because we're still a very happy dog. And we step between our hands and we start our seats and buggies again with a Beep, beep. We step forward again and we say hello to the sand. Hello, sand. And we reach up to the sun and what do we say? Hello, sun. Now on the beach are lots of crabs and they're playing football. 
with a bottle. Hmm. Let's go and join them. We sit on our bottoms, bending our knees, feet flat, hands behind our bottoms, and we lift up our hips. Now we're going to dig a digger that way. Ready? And kick a ball at the end. Digger, 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 digger. Oh, but it's not a ball, it's a bottle. Let's go that way and do it again. Digger, 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 digger. Oh, we catch the bottle. Sitting down, we turn it upside down. And we shake it. Shake it, shake it, shake it, shake it, shake it, shake it, shake it. Out comes a treasure map and a message. Let's read it. Bending your knees, opening it up. <gasps> Look, a treasure map. And it says, The yoga treasure is yours to win. Be sure to listen to Popcorn the Dolphin. <gasps> We must go and find her straight away. We look through our cosmonoculars again to see where she is. Crossing your legs, thumbs and fingers together, have a look through. There she is, playing in the waves. Let's go and join her. We stand up, grab a surfboard and start to run. Run, run, run into the waves. We throw our surfboard down onto the water and come onto our bellies. Then we start to swim out into the waves. Oh, there's a wave to bob over. So we bring our hands under our shoulders and go whoop and all the way down. Ooh. Let's surf on the next one, shall we? Yes, OK. Coming up onto your hands and your knees. Step one foot forward between your hands. Then cartwheel your arms round and we are surfing. We jump our feet the other way. Whoop. And we surf backwards. Nice, ready? Here comes popcorn to join us. Coming down onto your knees. Crisscross your fingers, come down onto your elbows. She dives in and out of the waves. She sits up on her tail and claps her fins together. She is the happiest dolphin we've ever met and we're going to be best friends forever. You found the treasure map for the yoga treasure. This is so good. Now we have to go together to find it. But there are going to be some challenges on the way. We're going to have to do three things. We're going to have to stay calm. We're going to have to keep breathing. And we're going to have to think positive. Can you do that? Yes, we can, Popcorn. We reach up high and we dive down into the waves. Spew! We swim, following Popcorn the dolphin. But, uh-oh, swimming around us are lots and lots of sharks. Ah! Crisscross your fingers behind your back and lift up your shark's fin. They're coming towards us. Do -do -do. Do, 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 do. Popcorn the dolphin knows exactly what to do and gets into position. Coming up onto your knees again, crisscross your fingers down onto your elbows. Remember to stay calm, keep breathing and think positive, happy thoughts. And she starts swimming around us and around us very fast. <laughs> She makes so many bubbles that the sharks get dizzy and they don't know where they are anymore. Coming down onto your belly, crisscross your fingers again, lift up your shark fin and... Oh, I don't know where I am, say the sharks. We sit up and we wipe our brow. Phew! Thank goodness for that. Popcorn knew what to do. We swim up to the surface of the waves where we take a look at our treasure map. Hands down, breathing in and lift up. Breathing out, lower down. Breathing in. Breathing out. At the top, we look at our treasure map. Sitting back, bend your knees, feet flat, opening it up. Look, there's a mermaid and she's sitting on a cross. X marks the spot. That 
must be where the treasure. Psst, psst. What? Oh. Let me see it. It's a huge boat, and it's coming towards us. Sitting up tall, lift up one leg, lift up two legs, lift up one arm, lift up no arms, and give me a wave. This boat is a very big boat with a mast lifting up one arm, and on that mast is a flag, a black flag, with a skull and crossbones, which means one thing. Pirates! Ah! Standing on the boat, we see a pirate. He's only got one leg, and he's got craggly little hands like this, and he's got one eye. Arr! And he's holding a net, a large fishing net. He's looking to catch Popcorn the dolphin. No! Popcorn knows what to do. You just gotta stay calm. You gotta keep breathing, and you gotta think positive. So we try. And sure enough, all of a sudden, from out of the water swims a whale. Huh. Lying on our backs, we bend our knees and lie all the way down with our arms by our sides, hands flat. We lift up our hips going bubble, 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 pop, and lower back down. Ooh. The whale lifts the pirate ship straight out of the water. Bubble, 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 pop, and lower down. Ooh. Carrying the pirates all the way away from us. Yay, we're safe again. We sit up and wipe our brow. Oh, that was close. Let's look at the map one last time. Mm. Now, how are we going to find these mermaids? Popcorn knows. We're going to have to go and find Tommy, the bedtime turtle. He knows where everyone lives in this ocean, so let's go find him. We go to the coral bed. Turning around, take your hands behind you, feet flat, and lift your hips up, making a bed shape, like a coral bed. There's lots and lots of seaweed in the coral bed, lying all the way down, lifting up your legs and your arms, and waving it around, like your wavy seaweed in the waves. There are fish darting in and out of the seaweed, pointing your toes all the way down. Come down onto your elbows and pop, pop, pop your chest to the sky, looking up to the ceiling all the way back behind you like a fish. Yay! The seaweed parts. Sitting up tall, we lie back again, lifting up our legs, lifting up our arms, and part the seaweed. We rock all the way up, Whoop! Wow! And we see that we are here with Tommy the Bedtime Turtle. Yay! Bending your knees, hands in front of you. Take your hands down in between your legs. Then shuffle your hands underneath your feet, making two little flippers, like turtle flippers. Hey there! What can I do for you? I hope I can help you somehow. We show Tommy the map and he knows exactly what to do. You need to go and find the tunnel of dogfish, but be very careful because they're not very nice when they're awake, so wait until they've gone to sleep. And Norris, the baby seahorse, if he's there, he'll show you what to do. Good luck. Right, it's time to go. We need to find this tunnel of dogfish. We swim again on our tummies. Coming flat, we swim down deep where all the fish get a little bit funny and light up. Ooh. And there we see it, the tunnel of dogfish. Tuck your toes, hands beneath your shoulders, lift all the way up, coming into your dog pose. And the dogfish are asleep. <sighs> Coming down to your knees, Popcorn knows she's not going to fit under there. If I swim under there, I'm going to wake them all up with my tail, so you're going to have to go by yourself. But do you remember those three things I told you? Yeah? Yes, we do, Popcorn. Stay calm, keep breathing, and think positive. We can do it, everyone, can't we? 
And here comes Norris, the baby seahorse. Stepping forward onto one knee, lift your arms above your head. Oh, hello. I'm going to take you through. But you need to wiggle like a little snake all the way through the tunnel so you don't wake them up. We can do it, Norris. We get into position on our bellies again. Taking our hands underneath our shoulders, we wiggle through the tunnel. Wiggle, wiggle. <gasps> Stay calm. Wiggle, wiggle, wiggle. <gasps> Keep breathing. <sighs> wiggle, wiggle, wiggle. <gasps> Think positive. And we get through to the other side. <laughs> Yay, we did it! Norris the baby seahorse gives us a little celebratory neigh. Stepping forward with your other foot, lift your arms and... Yay! You did it! Well done, everyone! Sitting before us is a mermaid. The mermaid from the treasure map. Sitting with your bottom to the side, swish your tail around to one side and place one hand on your fishy tail and the other hand behind you. Look over your shoulder, look back at us and she says, ooh la la. Then she swishes her tail around to the other side. Whoosh, putting an hand on her tail and behind her and she says it again. Ooh la la. Then we show her the map. Sitting up tall. Bend your knees, open it up. Oh, oui, she says. Then she points her tail all the way forward, sticking it out at the ends. She reaches behind her, bends her elbows down, lifts her tail up and counts to three in French. Un, deux, trois. Then she opens up her arms and she reaches up to the sky as she says, Et voila! All of a sudden, from every direction, start spinning the most beautiful gold stars, billions and trillions of them. We stand up and see them whirling and swirling around us. They're covering us with their magic. This is the yoga treasure. We close our eyes as we feel what the yoga treasure does. It fills us with love. Cross your fingers, come down to your elbows and forwards and backwards like a dolphin. <laughs> you did it! You found the yoga treasure! Now we gotta go! Come on! We lie back onto Popcorn's back and we place our hands one on top of the other and we give her a little kiss on the head. Mwah. We're so pleased we found the yoga treasure but oh no! We've just realised. We missed the bus. We missed the bus home. Oh no, how are we going to get home? This is awful. <laughs> Remember, you got to do those three things. You got to stay calm. You got to keep breathing. And you got to think positive. You can do it. So we try. We sit up. We cross our legs. We bring our hands to our hearts. And we close our eyes. We're calm, we breathe, and we think about the best possible thing. And when we open our eyes, we're sat on a magic carpet. <laughs> Take your legs out wide, your arms up high. It swooshes around, whoosh. Wow, it's carrying us home. We wave down to the ocean, waving at popcorn and all of our friends. Oh, and we wish the other way. Whee! We're so pleased we're now on our way home that we lie ourselves back down on our magic carpet with our arms down by our sides. And we let the carpet take us all the way home. As we lay here, we think 
of the amazing thing that we've done today in releasing the yoga treasure. From that love, we can find true happiness. That's what's so amazing about it. And we learnt some special things today that will help our life be a lot, lot easier. Those three, three good words of advice that Popcorn gave us. Staying calm, that we keep breathing and we think positive, happy thoughts. We can do it. We breathe slowly, enjoying our rest. And then it's time for us to slowly come back. So we wiggle our fingers and wiggle our toes. We bring one knee in, give it a kiss. Two knees in, give it a kiss. And we roll onto our side and all the way up to sitting with our legs crossed, just like we started. We bring our hands together at our hearts and we finish with our secret yoga code word, which is Namaste. Ready? After three. One, two, three. Namaste. Well done, everyone. That was wonderful. I hope you can remember those three special things and they help you lots and lots and come back soon for another Cosmic Kids adventure. Bye-bye. Welcome to the Cosmic Kids Zen Den, your place to feel calm and relaxed and to help our minds stay healthy and happy. First, let's get comfy. Sitting on our bottoms with our legs crossed, we bring our hands to our knees and take a big deep breath. <sighs> That's better. Now let's get the Zen Den ready so we can really enjoy it. We need music. Let's say abracadabra and use our spell fingers to make the sounds appear. Ready? Abracadabra. That's it. Well done. Now let's pick some sounds that help us feel just right. Hmm. The sound of ocean waves. The sound of seagulls and a lovely seaside tune. Perfect. Now for the smell. Let's wiggle our noses and say alakazam. Ready? Alakazam! Yes! We did it! Brilliant work everyone. What have we got here? Hmm, a donkey. A bus? Oh, oh yes, yes, let's smell the salty sea water. Oh yes, that is such a great smell. We've set the scene for the seaside, which is perfect, as I have something I'd like to show you. Here it is. Yes, it's a treasure chest but it's closed. Hmm. Now let's have a guess at what might be inside this treasure chest. What do you think it could be? Can you call out some ideas? Hmm? Ooh. Mm hmm Ah! Well, these are all great, but what does it feel like? 
not knowing what's inside this treasure chest. What would you call that feeling? Or maybe you can feel more than one thing. Can you name those feelings? Can you notice where the feelings are in your body? Are they in your tummy, your chest, your head, your neck or jaw? See if you can notice that feeling in your body somewhere, not knowing what's in the treasure chest. It's interesting, isn't it? Sitting with a feeling like this, you feel so eager to know what is inside the treasure chest, but you don't know what's coming next. Is it a nice feeling or does it feel uncomfortable? Do you feel excited about knowing or nervous? Maybe like butterflies in your tummy? Shall we open the treasure chest? Let's breathe into that feeling now. We're going to open it and find out. Can you feel those feelings? Ready? One, two, three. <gasps> wow! Look at that! Lots of colourful pom-poms. We weren't expecting that. Now that the treasure chest is open, can you notice again how you feel? How do you feel right now? Is it a feeling of relief now that you know what's inside the treasure chest? Where is the feeling in your body? Maybe you feel a little bit disappointed because it wasn't what you were expecting. Just breathe and notice how you feel. No matter what is in the treasure chest, the important thing here is to breathe and to feel all those feelings inside you. Just be with them, notice them, how your body feels with them. Do you like that? You have just been practicing mindfulness and by doing so, you've got to know yourself a little bit better. Well done. All you need to do is see what you see, feel what you feel, and keep up the practice. And you will become a true Cosmic Kids Zen Den master. Bye bye. The Cosmic Kids Yoga Pose Universe. digging pose. Taking our feet nice and wide, we crisscross our fingers behind our back and stretch our arms. Now we fold forwards after three and dig. Here we go. One, two, three, dig! And up! And again. One, two, three, dig! And up again. Now digging pose is very good for stretching our chest, our shoulders and the backs of our legs. Let's do one more. Ready? After three. One, two, three. Dig! And up. We better stop there. It's getting rather deep, that hole. If we're not careful, we'll end up in Australia. Oh, hello. Digging pose. Peace out. Treasure box. Hello, Jamie here. Welcome to Peace Out. Let's get ready by finding a place to sit down or lie back. Get yourself really comfy, making sure you feel snug and warm. Once you're settled, let's begin by tuning into our breath. We always do this 
as it helps our body relax and our mind feel clear. See if you can notice your breath coming in and going out. Feel the coolness of the air on your nose as you breathe. If you haven't already, allow your eyes to gently close so you can go inside for a bit. Now imagine there's a little balloon just below your belly button. As you breathe in, the balloon blows up a little. And as you breathe out, it goes flat again. Slowly breathe and enjoy the feeling of your balloon filling up, then emptying out. Breathing in, filling up, breathing out, letting it empty. Well done. Now see if you can imagine a place, a special place that is all yours. This is a place where you feel relaxed. You feel safe here and happy. It could be a room inside a cosy house, a meadow, a forest, by a lake or on a beach. Wherever it is, go there now in your mind. See yourself in that place right now. Look around. What can you see? What colours are around you? Blue? Orange? Pink? Yellow? Take them all in. Can you hear any sounds? Birds chirruping? The wind blowing gently? Ocean waves? A fire crackling? Listen for the sounds. You touch something and notice how it feels. Is it cool or warm? Here in your place, you feel totally peaceful, happy and safe. You smile to yourself, enjoying your special world. A safe place you can come to wherever you need. A safe place you can come to whenever you need. Here in your place, you have an animal friend. You decide what sort of animal you'd like your friend to be. It can be any animal you like. See if you can imagine it now. It's coming over to you to say hello. You feel very happy to see your animal friend here and follow it as it seems to want to show you something. There's a tree. And leaning against the tree is a shovel, a spade. Your animal friend is very excited and suggests you start digging beneath the tree. Your friend helps you to dig and uncover a black treasure box covered in sparkling jewels. Attached to the box is the key. So you open it. Inside are some of the most special things. Photos of you having the most amazing time. The people you love most in your life. Your favourite snack. Mmm. And a note written to you from your very own heart. The letter says that you are deeply loved by your family and your friends. You should just expect people to be nice. You don't need to worry about kids who are mean. 
and most importantly, love yourself. Love yourself. As you sit there with your animal friend, you take in these words that come from your very own heart. Love myself? Yes, you can do this. You look up at the sky and it fills with colour. The colour of love. You decide what colour that is. You breathe your colour in and out. And as you do, you feel love filling your heart. With each breath, more and more your heart fills. As it does, you forgive yourself for being hard on yourself, for saying negative things to yourself, for not being perfect. You have opened the door to love in your heart. Now you can receive love and give love. Take that with you. Fill yourself with love. Listen to your heart and expect people to be nice. Slowly now, we begin to come back from this magical place, saying goodbye to our special animal friend, giving them a hug and feeling them hug you back. We wiggle our fingers and our toes and we gently open our eyes. Take a moment here before you move anywhere to just notice the feeling you have inside you now. Hopefully you can still feel that sense of love in your heart and enjoy taking it with you into your day. This is Jamie saying peace out. <laughs>